So good morning, Life Cycles Yoga. It is, um, yeah, today's Tuesday, so we're going to explore some vinyasa today. Uh, happy to be here. I'm Serena, and we're talking about this week, you know, I was writing in the newsletter this week about how there's so many planets in retrograde right now. It's pretty intense. Mars is going to follow suit here in October, but also in October, we have three planets that start to shift direct. So, yeah, don't get too comfy. I mean, um, we're moving into another eclipse season. It's already connecting. It's already starting uh, with these energies flowing. And so, like I mentioned in the newsletter, six planets in retrograde just mean that it's time to reflect, rethink, reanalyze, uh, redo, recheck in, like all those RE words, just sort of sitting with um, your decisions, and you don't have to make any major huge decisions. Mercury is in retrograde, so of course, um, messages can be mixed, messages can come off incorrect, especially around relationships because it's Libra. Mercury is in Libra, and Libra is relationship, it's marriage, it's partnership. Um, so communication, you know, is vital right now, but we're in the stage of just thinking about it. However, people from your past can start to come back to sort of reconvene with you, want to have um, those discussions, um, maybe have another talk, right? Maybe something was not resolved. So people from your past may come into your life to resolve. Um, I had an old friend pop up actually just yesterday and I was like, hmm, that was interesting. And I was like, oh, Mercury's in retrograde, right? We have to resolve a few things. Okay. Um, yeah. So we just came off of that Pisces full moon and something may have opened up for you. Pisces is a water sign. It's emotional. And uh, this weekend may have been filled with deeper insight. Pisces brings in the insight from spirit, you know, and um, this week, maybe you're sitting with something. Uh, yeah. And, and just, you know, thinking about it, journaling it, processing it, integrating it. I don't think there's anything else ma major going on this week. There's no huge aspects or anything. It's just the idea of September sort of being a reckoning of this, uh, you know, the whole year kind of catches up with itself in September because now we're reflecting on the year uh, and getting ready for the eclipses that start October 25th. So Mercury and retrograde only lasts until October 2nd. And then, um, and then it will shift direct back and it's in, it'll be in Virgo when it starts moving forward, forward. If you had a year ahead report done, that's in your year ahead report, which signs or which houses that's going to touch upon. And so I had a big weekend teacher training started and then um, I had an idea of teacher training that I would start teaching um, the chakras in a series that uh, every other week, because teacher training is only every other weekend, and so if I'm, I'm offering this to the in-person classes, and um, I'll offer it this Tuesday mornings to you as well, and so, you know, when we hear the word chakra, or a lot of people pronounce it chakra, uh, I think in Sanskrit, it's actually a harder, ch like a chicken, like chakra, um, and so when I was learning about this, the energy from the chakras, so chakras are just energy wheels. If you don't know anything about them, you're going to know a lot about them in the next three months. Um, energy wheels within the body. So the life force, you know, we can't really see them, but there's energy wheels in the body that pertain to particular parts of our life, right? So the root chakra is about safety and security, and we'll talk about that. But we're moving up to creativity and confidence and love and how we express ourselves and our intuition and how we connect to a higher being. So there's seven of them with the heart bringing the bridge between the lower chakras and the higher chakras. So the first chakra that we talk about um, today is the root chakra and it's represented by the color red. <laughs> so of course I coordinated this morning. So I want to ask you something. It's okay not to be familiar with these, but you learn a lot about yourself as we go through our practice, as I teach you a little bit about these. You learn a lot about yourself. A chakra, you know, can have less energy movement in it, or it could have a lot of energy movement in it. 
And we talk a lot about maybe balancing those or finding a balance and bringing more attention to which chakra is out of balance can help you heal, can help you understand more about that particular area of your life. Um, nobody can heal or detox or change your chakras. So if you ever see anything out there in the world that says, you know, I'm going to cleanse your chakras, that's a, that's a lie. It's a misnomer, okay? What happens? Energy work does help, like Reiki helps with chakras, um, but you yourself hold the key to understanding and healing and touching upon these energy wheels within yourself. For example, think about these questions for the root chakra, which is the, the base chakra. Okay, we'll talk about where it is. It's at the base of the spine or the perineum, you know, where you can squeeze in. Questions. How do I nurture myself? These questions pertain to the root chakra. This will help you get an idea of if you feel unbalanced here. How do I nurture myself? Do I view the world as dangerous or safe? Do I feel a sense of belonging in my body, in my community, in my home? What gives me a sense of stability, a sense of grounding, a sense of security in my life? I'm just thinking about those questions. So the root chakra is red, the color is red. It's, it's kind of represented by an upside down triangle. Um, the sense orientation is the smell. So smelling, because smell is one of our primal senses. It helps us understand if we are safe. It helps us understand if we should be more alert. If you smell something bad, like food, like you shouldn't eat it, right? Um, so it's a primal sense. The root chakra connects to our ancestors, um, to what we've learned in terms of how do we keep ourselves safe. It connects with money and abundance. So um, if you've ever felt, so the element is earth, right? And I think about Tadas and I think about mountain pose. If you've ever moved house or went on a long trip, your sense of safety or st stability can feel off balance, right? Because your home is in disarray. Uh, that is kind of making that root chakra unbalanced. So that's an example. Or if you didn't receive your paycheck, there was a glitch in the system. And then you feel like you can't pay your bills and you have to work it out with your employer and the bank that can bring the root chakra out of balance. If you feel unsafe, um, you know, like as a woman, like riding my bike in the morning sometimes makes me feel unsafe because I'm alone. That's the root chakra. Um, what else here, my friends? Yeah, so the element is earth. Um, some affirmations that would go with this, which we'll repeat during practice is I am safe, I am enough, I have enough. The universe provides, my needs are met. Um, let's see, good. Okay, so the body parts that it connects with as well, uh, large intestine, um, the lower body, so the perineum, the hips, the legs, knees, feet all lower. It's our base. It's our foundation. All right, my friends. So if you have a blanket and two blocks, that might be nice today to have as your props. As we explore the root chakra, so it's called in Sanskrit muladhara, muladhara chakra, and mula means base. The base component, the base foundation. This is an important 
chakra to work with because it sets up the energetic movement upwards. It sets up our sense of grounding. So one thing that I wrote down was anchor below to rise above. Anchor below to rise above. And to start a fantastic pose that connects with all of the chakras, but one we can really feel into is Sukhasana. So Sukhasana is just sitting down. Sukhasana is called easy pose in English. It may not be that easy. Sometimes it's difficult, it doesn't feel good. Um, it's crisscross applesauce, or you can place one leg in front of the other. And it's a really great pose to start with. And you can sit on your blanket or a bolster or a block to elevate the hips. Anchoring below, feeling the lower body get heavy. In order to rise above, elongating your spine, lifting the crown ahead like it has a rope up towards the sky. Sit and rest the hands on your knees, on your legs, and just breathe for a moment here. What I'd like us to do is draw our attention to the perineum. So this is near the sphincter muscle, right? It's down there. So um, that area where you can squeeze and release, squeeze and release. This gives you a physical connection to where this chakra lies, this energy wheel. Squeeze and release, good. The mudra for this chakra is the earth element um, chakra, and, and it's hard. It's hard for me to pronounce. I'm not sure. It's prithvi. I'm not not 100 percent sure how to uh, pronounce it, but it's p r i t h v i mudra. And you take your ring finger and your thumb, and you press those together because the ring finger is the earth element. So touching the thumbs to the ring finger. And if you want to close down your eyes or keep them low to the floor, just take a few breaths. Notice how you're feeling this morning. You know, bringing your attention and awareness to if you feel safe, do you feel secure? Do you feel like your needs are met? Are you taking care of yourself? Are you working through patterns of what you were lacking as a child through your caretakers? That's a big one for the root chakra, healing that, those past patterns. Good, sitting up nice and tall. We'll connect with the Bij Mantra, which is LAM, L-A-M, LAM. So I'll say LAM three times. If you're interested in joining, feel free. Otherwise, just listen. Deep inhale through the nose. LAM. Lam. And staying here with the eyes closed or low to the floor, draw your awareness to your lower body. Imagine your body encased in the earth in this dark brown reddish soil, growing roots down through your mat, through your home, into the earth creating that solid foundation for yourself, anchoring below to rise above, creating a base foundation for yourself. With every inhale, grow your roots deeper. Every exhale, get rid of what you don't need, clearing out.
Good, my friends, release your hands. Bring the palms back up onto the knees or the legs and give your legs a little pressure and rub. Good, you can flutter open the eyes. Ooh, good, all right, let's stretch out our legs, give them a little shake and we'll go into some vinyasa that connects with this muladhara chakra, that base chakra. Um, it's gonna be low and slow today. Um, yeah, so for this Tuesday morning. All right, why don't we, I'm gonna remove my blanket actually. Good. And keep our legs straight out in front of us. So this is Dandasana, so staff pose, a seated staff pose. Opening up the yogi toes, give them a nice wiggle and let the toes just straight up towards the sky. And the feet should be about hip width apart. So about two fists apart, good. Sitting up nice and tall as well, elongating the spine. Inhale, fingertips to the sky. And exhale, bring the hands down to the sides. Press the palms into the mat. And lift through the spine, lift the crown of the head, leaving the hands next to your body. Good. If your palms don't touch, that's okay. Or maybe your arms are really long and that's okay too. You can always bring the arms out to the sides and tent the fingers. You know what, what feels good for you? Where do you feel this? You know, connecting with the sits bone, a heaviness in the sits bones, a heaviness in the tailbone, the legs. Good, and release. Let's open up these legs into a V position. Wide legged fold, flex the toes back towards the knees and feel the connecting points in the lower legs. So the heel, the calf, the thighs, or the quads, I mean, underneath here in your hamstrings. Inhale, fingertips up high, and exhale, fold forward. Bring the hands down, let the head hang, hinge at the waist. Let's talk, take a few breaths here. We can feel pretty tight right in the morning. We haven't warmed up yet. We're warming up here. Good, walk the hands back towards the body. Inhale, fingertips up high to the sky. And exhale, drop the left hand down to the left leg. Let the right arm come over to the left leg. Good, inhale, heart up, fingertips up. Exhale, right hand drops down to the right leg, left arm pulls over to the leg, just a little side bend. Good, inhale, lift the heart. All right, let's bring the feet together for butterfly pose. Pressing the soles of the feet together, creating a pada mudra, pada our feet. Mudra is that energy swirl connection through the legs. Inhale, nice and tall, lifting the crown of the head. And exhale, hinge at the waist and bend forward. Bring your hands to your feet or the floor. Let your head hang when you find that edge. Good, and walk the hands back up, lift the heart. All right, straighten the left leg, keep the right leg bent so the sole of the foot is on the leg. This is just half staff, half down dasana. Inhale, hands up high, and exhale, fold forward. Bring the hands down to the floor or the leg. Let the head hang. Good, inhale, lift the heart. Let's switch out the leg, straighten your right leg, bend the left leg. Press the sole of the foot into the leg for half step, other side. Inhale, hands up high, lengthen the spine. And exhale, bend at the waist, bring the hands down. Let the head hang.
Good, inhale, back up. Nice work. All right, let's come on to all fours and just find a little movement here. Tick tock the hips. Work with the shoulders a little bit. Roll the head. Good, coming back into a neutral tabletop. Draw the belly down and inhale, cow. Lift the head, flip your toes under, lift the tailbone. And exhale, cat, arch the back, drop the head. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. One more time, inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Good job. Keep those toes flipped under, inhale here. And exhale, draw the hips back towards the heels for broken toe pose here. Ooh, super tight feet in the morning here. Whenever you're practicing, just notice how your feet feel. Mine definitely loosen up during the day, but the morning is pretty tough, very tight. You, have all, you always have the option to lift up the heart too and just make it a little bit more intense. Onto the feet if you're feeling it this morning. One more breath here. Good, and release. Untuck the toes, tops of the feet come down to the mat and drop the hips back towards the heels and connect with this lower body. You know, Maybe repeating to yourself, I am anchored and connected to the earth. Connecting with this lower body, the root chakra, anchoring in. Good. One more breath here. Good. And release. Come back into tabletop. Spread the fingers out wide, walk the hands, one hand print forward. Flip the toes under, inhale, look forward. And exhale, down dog, hips up high. Look back at those yogi toes. Open them up about hip width apart for down dog. Good. And find any movement here. Maybe you wanna bend your knees. Maybe you wanna drop your heels. Good. and come back into a neutral down dog and inhale, look forward on the mat. And exhale, start to tippy toe and just step forward on the mat into a fold. Take your time. Good, notice your feet. Make sure they're about two wrists, two hands apart. That's about hip width apart. And then bend the knees and inhale, start to come up. Lift the heart, lift the fingertips high. And exhale, drop the hands to the sides. Coming into mountain pose. Feet are hip width apart, opening the palms to shine forward. So from here, anchoring into the legs and the feet, right? Lift the yogi toes up off of the floor and then start to bring them back down one by one. Maybe close down the eyes here. Palms are shining forward. The shoulders are dropped away from the ears. Belly button is pulled in to activate your core. Gaze is forward or down to the floor or close your eyes. In mountain pose, we feel the stability of our base we have created. If your eyes are closed or low to the floor, do you notice yourself moving? Are you pulling to the left, the moon side, the emotional side? Are you pulling to the right, the sun side, the action side? Maybe you're pushing forward into the future. Maybe you're pulling back staying in the past. Maybe you're feeling just right, centered, in the center, unwavering. Wherever you are, honor that space.
One more breath here. And inhale the hands up high to the sky for extended mountain pose. Let the palms shine together. Release the shoulders away from the ears. Soften the knees. One more deep breath here. Good. Inhale and extend up towards the sky. And exhale to fold, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. So a flat back, let the fingertips rest on the legs. And exhale to fold. Take your left foot and step it back, turning towards the long edge of the mat for a wide-legged fold. <clears throat> The toes are pointed towards the long edge of the mat. Heels are back. This might be a nice place to use a block as well. Letting yourself fold forward, emptying out through the head. Just one breath here, soft knees. Good. While you're down here, let's turn our heels in, toes out, and start to bend the knees a little bit to support yourself coming up slowly. Lift the heart. And then five pointed star. Sometimes we can feel a little head rush from that because that's an inversion. Coming out of an inversion, our head below our heart. Five pointed star. Good. Now let's tuck our legs in a little bit closer. Okay. Deep inhale here. Exhale, goddess. Bend the knees, bend the elbows. All right. You want your knees pointing in the same direction as your toes. And then turn your palms in towards one another, towards your face. Good. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, goddess. Bend the knees, bend the elbows. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, goddess. Nice. Now stay here. Deep inhale in the center. And exhale, twist to the left. Inhale forward. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale forward. Exhale, drop the knee or hands down to the knees. And then turn the heels out, toes towards the top, and fold. Straighten your legs. Good, wide legged fold. We're going to bring the left hand down to the floor or a block. Inhale, right arm to the sky. And then release that right arm down. Bring the right hand to the block or the floor and inhale, left arm to the sky. And then drop that left arm down. Good, let's walk our hands over to the right foot, top of the mat, step the left foot forward to fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold. So plant the hands, let's step back into a plank position or a tabletop position. Inhale here. And exhale, lower down. Let the belly come down all the way to the mat. Hands underneath the shoulders. Pressing the tops of the feet and the pelvis into the mat. Inhale, baby cobra, lift the heart. Elbows are slightly bent, gaze is down. And release. Inhale, tabletop. And then exhale, come back into child's pose. So knees are out wide, toes are to the center, drop the hips to the heels, heart and forehead to the mat. So pulling this idea of the root chakra, connecting with the energy, the quality, the earth, smells, red. What other, other color red you love, right? Maroon, a light red, even pink, anything here that represents that color. Child's pose, connecting with this sense of taking care of yourself, meeting your needs. 
letting go of your past in order to move forward. Good, one more breath here. And start to bring your hands underneath your shoulders, press up into a tabletop position. Let's reset our spine, inhale cow, drop the belly, lift the gaze. And exhale cat, arch the back, drop the head. Inhale cow, point that tailbone to the sky. Exhale cat, arch the back, tuck the tailbone in. One more time, inhale cow, and exhale cat. And in a tabletop, walk the hands, one hand crank forward, toes flipped under, inhale, look forward. Exhale, down dog, lift your hips up high, look back at those beautiful yogi toes, anchored in onto your mat. Inhale, bring the gaze forward. Exhale, tippy toe or step to the top of the mat, two fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to fold, bend your knees, inhale, lift your heart, lift your fingertips to the sky for extended mountain pose. And then exhale, release the hands down. Let the palms shine forward. Lift those yogi toes in mountain pose and then drop and anchor them in. Anchor below to rise above. Inhale, fingertips high to the sky. Exhale to fold. This time we're going to step the right foot back and take a right turn, quarter turn, long edge of the mat, and forward fold here. Bend your knees slightly. <coughs> Excuse me. Emptying out. One more breath here. Good, and now start to find some movement that you love here. Maybe you want to use some blocks under your hands, that's okay too. Maybe you want to go side to side. Or maybe you want half lifts and down. Maybe extend the arms behind you or cross the fingers behind the lower back. Give yourself permission to explore. Give yourself permission to meet your needs. Good, just a few more breaths here. Good, and release. Let's come back to center in this wide-legged fold. And then draw the heels in, toes out, pointing to the sides. Bend the knees slightly so you can come out of this pose. Bending the knees helps support the back. And helps, hopefully, with any head brushes as well. Good. Five-pointed star. Open up. Lifting the arms. Good. Inhale here. Exhale, goddess, then the elbows, then the knees. And then drop the hands down to the knees. Inhale through the heart space. And exhale, press the right shoulder into the center. Press the hand in, the right hand into the leg. Look over your left shoulder. Inhale, come up. Exhale, dip, left shoulder into the center. Look over that right shoulder, press into the left leg. Good, inhale, lift the heart. And exhale, press into both legs. Let your heart dip, let your hips dip. Find your edge. Good, inhale, start to lift up. Five-pointed star. Exhale, release the shoulders. Inhale, extend your energy through the fingertips and the toes. 
And then exhale, let's forward fold. This time we're gonna extend the left fingertips in front, right hand comes behind. Inhale here, lift the heart. And exhale, look through the left armpit. Good, inhale, come on back up, switch the hands. Right hand in front, left hand through the legs behind you. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, twist. Look underneath the right armpit. Good. Inhale, come on back up. So we're going to walk our hands to the top of the mat and step your right foot forward to fold. And then plant the hands and step back into tabletop or plank. Spread the fingers out wide, deep inhale here. And exhale, lower down all the way to the belly, hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, baby cobra, lift the back. And exhale, release. Inhale, tabletop. And exhale, child's pose. So knees out wide, hips to heels, elongate the hands. Low and slow this morning, connecting with that lower part of our body. In child's pose, connect with the sense of, I am safe, I am home. At home in your body, at home in your home, at home in your community. One more breath here. Good, and release. Let's come back up to tabletop. So it might be nice to have something underneath your knees here for a little bit of uh, work we're gonna do here. So I'm placing my blanket underneath my knees. Bring the left hand to the center of the mat. Inhale, right arm to the sky. And exhale, thread it through, bringing the right shoulder, right side of the face down to the mat, coming into a twist for the upper back. The left arm is in front of the gaze or extended out in front of you or bound behind the back. Nice deep breaths here. All right, let's place the left hand in front of the gaze to press up. Inhale, right arm to the sky. Give it a big stretch. Good job. Drop that right hand down before we move over to the other side. Extend the left leg out behind you. Press the left toes into the mat. Open up that left calf. Good, and release, lift up the left leg and then extend out the right arm for bird dog. So pull the belly in, make sure you have a nice stable core. Inhale here and exhale. We're gonna draw the right elbow back, left knee to the left side, right elbow to the right side. Good, inhale, extend, exhale, contract, right to the right, left to the left. Inhale, extend, exhale, last, last contraction, bend, then release back into tabletop. Good, let's bring the right hand to the center of the mat, inhale, left arm to the sky, and then exhale, thread it through underneath that right arm. Allow the right hand to rest or extend or bind.
Good, one more breath here. Take the right hand and press into the mat. Inhale, lift the left arm to the sky. And then release, let the left hand come down. Other side, this time, press the right foot back, press the right toes into the mat. So you can press the heel back, open up that right calf. Good, and release. Let's lift up the right leg, pull the belly button in, and extend the left arm out in front of you. Inhale here for bird dog. And exhale, draw the left elbow to the left side, bend the right knee to the right side. Inhale, extend. Exhale, contract both sides. Inhale, extend. Exhale, contract. Then release back down to tabletop. Good job. So from here, I'm going to break, move my blanket to the side and come on to our backs. Grab some water if you need it. And since we're going to be laying our head back, move anything that would feel constricting on the head, if you have a ponytail or a wearing bar head or something like that, just make sure that you can rest the head on the mat without any bumps. Good. From here, draw the heels close into the glutes. Squeeze the knees together. And the hands here, I'm gonna do some rolling bridges. All right, so we start with our hands down by our hips and the palms can face one another. When we inhale, we draw the hips up and we draw the arms up above our head and back behind us. My wall is in the way, so I'm gonna move a little bit here, okay. So hips up, hands back. And then exhale, bring the arms back down, bring the hips down. Inhale, lift the hips, lift the arms, bring them above your head and then on your mat above your head. Exhale, lift the arms, drop the hips and drop the arms. A few more, inhale, lift. Exhale, drop. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop. One more. Inhale, lift. And exhale, drop. Good. Let's squeeze our knees into our chest for wind relieving pose, moving left to right. Just feeling that connection with our back on the mat. You can hold onto your knees or your shins or underneath your knees on your thighs. Just take a few moments here, allowing the tops of your legs to press into the belly, giving your intestines a little massage. Just a few breaths here. <sighs> Excuse me. Good, and then release. Let's bring the feet back down, cross one, the right ankle onto the left leg, <clears throat> and then squeeze the legs into the body. You can stay passive though. If you want to just leave the leg on the mat, you can do that. Otherwise you can lift up that left leg. Good, flexing the toes back. Coming into that hip. Good, and release. <clears throat> let's switch it out. This time, let's cross the other ankle, left ankle onto the right knee. If you want to stay passive, stretch, stay here. Otherwise, make it active and lift up that right leg, bringing the legs into the body.
Excuse me. Good, just a few more breaths here. And release. All right, bring the legs back down. Okay, what I want you to do is lift your hips up and scooch them to the right. And then lift up the knees and drop the knees to the left. Open up the arms into a T position. So the palms are facing upwards. And notice your shoulders. If your right shoulder is lifted, add something underneath your legs, like a block or a blanket, just so you can get the shoulders to connect with the floor. Nice supine twist. So twists laying down, they really work in towards the lower back. This one helps the lower back. It helps the abdomen, the intestines. Play with your gaze. You could look right, you could look left, you could look straight above. Just a few more breaths here. Good. And let's start bringing the knees back up and then drop the feet on the floor. From here, lift your hips and scooch them over to the left. Then draw the knees up and let the knees fall to the side. Again, notice if your shoulder is lifted, your left shoulder, and then add something underneath the legs if so. Opening the arms up into a T. Nice deep breath through that lower back. Play with the gaze again on this side. One more breath here. And then draw the legs back up. Bring the feet in and just bring the hips back to neutral into the center of the mat. Maybe squeeze the knees into the chest, moving left to right. Any other movement here you want before we go into Shavasana, feel free. Maybe you want happy baby or lift the legs up to the sky for waterfall. And then stretch out the legs for Shavasana when you're ready. This resting pose. Tucking the shoulders into the spine, lifting the chin slightly. Let your toes fall out to the sides. And in this grounding, resting pose, connect with the root chakra. Maybe give yourself a squeeze down at the perineum. And just imagine the red color just waving over your body, covering yourself. And roots extending out of the arms and your legs and your back stabilizing you into the earth, stabilizing you into your home, into your community, into family, 
into friends. Good, start to bring your awareness back to your breath. And notice maybe a heaviness in your body, your physical body. Maybe start to bring your awareness to the energy that you feel now compared to the beginning of class. How has it shifted? How has it changed? You have more of an awareness into this first chakra. Wiggle the toes, wiggle the fingertips. Make any little stretches to awaken. And then if you'd like, roll over to a side. And this base chakra really connects with the earth signs. Taurus, especially Taurus, because it's about getting our needs met. met. It's about abundance, Virgo. It's about foundations and stability. Capricorn. Go ahead and press up into a seated position. So during Virgo season, you know, connecting with this sense of do I have enough? Yes, I have enough. Abundance flows through me. The universe provides for me. A great time to connect with this particular chakra. So in a seated position, let's draw our palms so that they're facing towards the sky bringing the thumb and the earth finger together, which is your ring finger, pressing those together, finding that energetic connection, the sensation in the tips of the fingers. We will close our class with three LAMs, L-A-M, which is the Bij mantra for this chakra. Feel free to participate in or just listen. Deep inhale through the nose. La 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 Good, hands to heart center, Anjali Mudra, palms and fingertips together. 
I'm wishing you all a very beautiful week. I'm very grateful to be able to share yoga with you and the insights of this beautiful practice. From my heart to all of yours, namaste. Thank you so much, friends, for joining me this morning or anytime you're watching the video. I will see you back here on Thursday. For our 27 sun salutations.